a drag show put on by class council and the trans non-binary students at GW. Um, it's the first time we're putting on the drag show. We're really excited to create a space for students that didn't traditionally exist. Uh, so five of them are students and then one of them is a GW senior but is uh, actually performs in DC. Uh, their name is Crystal Edge and we're really excited to have them. Here. Drag has provided the queer community a space to play with gender, play with presentation, to figure things out and experiment and just try new things. It's allowed folks to, uh, who are further marginalized to set the rules of not just the space but also of expression, of understanding, and yeah, it's, it's really an awesome thing. I think for me, drag is about sort of rejecting that like really well police like life of gender expression that trans people go through. They're under so much pressure to conform to how society wants them to look and then at the same time they have this like internal war you know going on with their dysphoria and I think drag is about looking however you want and not really giving a fuck so it's really relieving especially for, for trans folks to sort of like shed all that armor and all that like pressure of having to present super specifically at one time. My drag persona I think changes like based on how I'm feeling. I think it's an expression of, of how I feel in the moment and it's definitely changed over time as well. So when I was like a baby queen, it was very like weird and artful and I think now as I'm growing older, getting more sophisticated, I've definitely like femmed up my appearance and have like gone for a more like traditionally feminine look but it definitely is in flux and reflective of like who I am and how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis.